In this video we're going to take a look at completing the square uh, for a quadratic. Sometimes you'll see it in the exam papers where they say write the following function in the form a x a times x plus b squared plus c and that's what they would want us to restructure this quadratic as. It has um, some very nice uses. The uses being we can find the maximum or minimum point of a quadratic very very quickly using this and we can also sketch it quite quickly because we can use our quadratic transformations um, on x squared so looking at the x squared graph what happens when we add one inside the bracket and we subtract two outside here we can graph it quite quickly um, as a result of this structure so it's very very nice they do ask it quite a bit in the exam paper so it's a skill that you need to have so looking at this then um, the way that I like to do this is using an actual square so I'm going to take these two pieces together and I'm going to turn them into a geometric shape which is the square so I'm going to draw out a square as much of a square as I can make it and I'm going to have in my two boxes up the top here I know I'm gonna to have to have x squared up here now what did I have to multiply to get x squared in the down by the across because that's the goal here the down by the across creates what's inside the box so something by something gave me x squared if I want this to be a square they have to be the same length so this is going to be x and this is going to be x so x by x is x squared then I need to look at the plus or the minus 4x the minus 4x what can I break that into so that these two are the same length to make it a square squares have the same lengths at the sides so we've got x and I'm going to write split it into two parts so minus 2x and minus 2x so now I'm asking myself well what had to be in the box at the top here or the the side here what had to be in those two positions for me to get minus 2x here so it's x times minus 2 and again here x times minus 2 and this is where the name completing the square comes from this is a geometric shape it's a square in front of me what number is missing from this box in the bottom right here to make it a square so you do the down by the across and I get plus four so what I now have is x squared minus 4x plus four that's what that blue part I've turned it into I'm not allowed to just add four because it suits me so what I need to do to make sure I'm not changing the value of that function or the meaning of that function if I also subtract 4 then I'm effectively adding 4 and taking it away I've not changed the function at all so there's my plus 4 coming in I'm taking away 4 to not change the function and then remember we had the minus 6 up here don't forget about him he has to come down with it so minus 6 so I now have f of x is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 4 minus 4 minus 6. Now, here's the next thing. This x squared minus 4x plus 4, that came from a square of side length x minus 2 by x minus 2. In other words, this was created by x minus 2 squared so that piece there looking at it geometrically it's a square of side length x minus 2 by x minus 2 and then over here we've got minus 4 minus 6 and I get minus 10 and this is our completed square format and it gets its name from the fact that we're literally filling in the blanks of that square let's look at another one so my next one here is x squared plus 9x plus 4. So what I want to do again is I want to look at these two. Now, those two are going to create a square for me. So I'm going to draw out the square. And I'm going to split it into two columns and two rows. And then remember the x squared part, 
that's going to be here. These two always have to match, so I'm going to have x squared, or sorry, x and x to give us x squared in the box here, because again, it's the down times the across that gives us the value in the box. So down times the across. Now, 9x, not quite as nice as the last question, but 9x we could split into two parts. I could have 4.5x and 4.5x. Okay, so then I'm asking myself, what did I have to multiply x by to get 4.5x? Well, I had to multiply it by 4.5. What did I have to multiply my um, x by here to get 4.5x? Again, it's going to be um, 4.5 and it's a positive, so we'll put in our plus signs. After that then, we need to look at what number is missing for us to complete that square. And if we look, it's the down by the across, which is 4.5 by 4.5, which is 20.25. Okay, so we can do it in decimals. If you prefer, you could write it as fractions. You can turn it into fractions at the end if needs be. So what we're going to have um, now is we're going to write it out. So I'm going to write x squared plus those two added together will give us 9x plus 20.25 or if you'd rather work in fractions it's 81 all over 4. Now what I'm going to do is I can't just add in 81 over 4 so I have to subtract it to keep this function having the same value. And then we bring down our plus four and we're gonna tidy it up. We're going to say, well, this part here, all of that came out of this bracket or this box. All of that came out of that. How did that work? Well, we had a square, a square, and it was x plus 4.5 Another way of writing that, 4.5 is 9 over 2. So it's x plus 9 over 2 squared minus 81 over 4 plus 4. So I can write this as, let me change this so that we work in fractions the whole way. 4 could be written as 16 over 4. So now we're actually doing 16 minus 81. So we're getting minus 65 over 4. And there again is our completed square format. Now we'll do one more example. What if it wasn't an x squared to start out, but a 2x squared? So when I go to draw my box this time, we'll notice that there is no way for us to split that 2x, no easy way to split that 2x squared. Because if I do this, then this side length is going to be potentially longer than this side length, which we can't have because then it's not a square and I won't be completing the square. So what I could do, so I'll keep the box, let me take this out and this, and I'm gonna move the box over to the side for a second while I do this. I'm gonna say, right, let me just take that two X out. So I'm going to, or that two out. So I'm gonna have X squared plus four X will go to two X. And then I'm going to have minus five on the outside. So I'm going to put that there. Now what I'm trying to see is, right, can I complete the square here? Can I make that into a square? So I'm going to have x squared here, which again, x on the top, x down the side. Then I'm splitting 2x into two boxes evenly. That's going to be plus 1x and plus 1x. Then we're looking again, what did I have to multiply x by to get 1x in that box? Well, it's plus 1. So I'm going to add one. What did I have to multiply x by over here? So x by what gives us plus 1x? I'm going to get plus 1 again. So I'm going to put that in. Plus 1. Multiplying um, this out then to get our last box. Plus 1 times plus 1 is going to give us positive 1. So I have to add in 1 to the bracket. So be careful this time, I'm adding in that one inside the bracket. So it's going to be x squared plus 2x plus 1. 
I also have to be careful because I'm going to subtract one because I'm not allowed to just add in one. I'll change the value of the function. That's not allowed. So I have to also subtract one so that I don't change the meaning of the function or the value of it. Now, what I want to do is I want to um, group these two right, or these three things together, because I know that those three parts came from this square. So I can actually say that everything inside the brackets here is actually going to be x plus 1 squared. And then I have outside the bracket minus 1 and then minus 5. Now we're not finished yet. I need to multiply that out. So 2 times x plus 1 squared is just going to be 2 by x plus 1 squared. 2 by minus 1 gives us minus 2, and then we still have our minus 5 on the outside. Now what I'm going to do then is I'm going to tidy that up. So I'm going to get 2 x plus 1 squared minus 7. And there we go, our completed square format for a question where maybe the x squared was a little bit more awkward to deal with. So same procedure, just take your time, factorise the two out of the beginning and deal with this like you would have in the previous questions.